Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis from Sepro Mineral Systems. This video is a short excerpt from a longer video series about gold recovery for milling circuits. I hope you enjoy it. So up here we had cyclone efficiency defined by the GRG partition curve. So that's what we're talking about right now is will the cyclone keep the gold in the circuit at the designed cut point? So in this case, we see the ore partition curve here. And we've got the gold partition curve here. So let's say we're cutting at 100 micron, you know, right here. Well, actually, sorry, this is going to be 110 micron. My apologies. Sorry, 110 micron, P80 of 110 here. So we're going to get 80% of the ore partitioned, and it looks like in this case, basically 100% of the gold retained in the underflow or, you know, extremely close to it. This could be 97, 98, 99, but it's, it's way up there. If our gold looked different, let's say it was all very, very, very fine. This part, this gold partition curve, you know, could look something like this, for example. And now, hey, now we're only retaining 85 or 90% of the gold in the grinding circuit. As I said, this is probably one of the most important parameters because if you had 100% gold retention in the grinding circuit and nothing got lost, then it really wouldn't matter how efficient the gravity concentrator is. Then all you're up against is gold getting smeared onto grinding media, mill liners, hanging up in pump boxes, but it's trapped there in the circuit. Now the paper says this effect is minor, um, as more than 98% of GRG entering the mill remains gravity recoverable after grinding. Um, but you know, I'm going to take exception to that a little bit because 2% GRG can be a lot if you've got a high GRG ore and you certainly don't want to lose that. Um, so having uh, an efficient gravity circuit is definitely an important part of that. And there's a graph down here that just illustrates this a little bit better when we have the gold recovery based on cyclone efficiency. And this is also modeled, you know, we're assuming a particular uh, partition curve here for the gold and we can model that and see what happens at different cyclone efficiencies. So a 2% difference in cyclone efficiency actually for the gold retention actually does have a substantial difference um, on overall gold recovery in the circuit. So this is one of the reasons that you know, one of the best things an operator can do to improve the gravity circuit is make sure that the cyclones are functioning very efficiently um, when it comes to gold recovery. If you found this video interesting, uh, please visit minerals.seprosystems.com to find the extended video series as well as additional shorter clips addressing specific points around gold recovery for milling circuits. Thanks very much for watching.